guys, my name is Case Shadow the Board, Board Built for Theme Park News, and welcome to the final video of today. This is talking about the Six Flags ride removals. We've had some suggestions from Screamscape. I'm going to talk why they think it could be removed and talk about why maybe I could think it could get removed in the future. So we're going to talk about what three parks are suggesting, Magic Mountain, America and Great America, and share my thoughts on why I think they may or may not be the ride removals being talked about. Of course, we knew already from an earlier video, that's not that's got nearly a 1,000 views already, which is brilliant, so thank you very much, guys. Um, and we're going to share my thoughts on it. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and 500k views in total. And for now, let's have a look at the rides talked about by Screamscape. So he starts off with Great America. Now, of course, like I said, we knew about 15 rides chain-wide being removed after the over the winter break. So after the Toy Quest season is finished. And this is what's been talked about for Great America, first of all. And you can already see the picture of the ride on your screen. Now, thus far, the most suggested ride that Six Flags Great America might retire over the winter could be the Yankee Clipper. Now, the Old Flume is one of the oldest rides in the park that not only takes up a good amount of space, but likely has high maintenance costs due to its age. We've also been told, Screamscape's been told, that it isn't uncommon for the ride to sit closed for long periods of the time each season, which makes it a good candidate from removal. I'm going to speak about each ride individually afterwards. Moving into Magic Mountain, so if Six Flags Magic Mountain did actually retire a ride, we've asked for suggestions, Screamscape have asked for suggestions as to what it may be. And they're not, they're not expecting the park to remove any coasters, as they always strive to keep the coaster count high. Uh, they just removed Green Lantern First Flight last year after it sat closed for months, so if, they remove, so if Six Flags Magic Mountain removes something, they'd look elsewhere, because that doesn't count. Um, water rides have been on the out at many of the parks and they have two options Tidal Wave and Jetstream we know Tidal Wave uh, is already gone we knew that's pretty much gone uh, they've, removed it. they've removed a lot of those Tidal Wave style big boat splash rides from the other parks in the last several years we know that's going to be going anyway for the, the Raptor so maybe that's definitely going to be one of them Jetstream is one of the oldest rides in the park and probably comes with high maintenance costs so maybe that is a good candidate for Jetstream's removal but maybe they could look elsewhere. Maybe some other rides could be mentioned. Now, what about Six Flags America? Now, what they've said, according to a few reader guests of Screamscape, they won't be surprised if the water slide style raft ride, Penguin's Blizzard River, or the Hus Breakdance Rodeo might get retired. And I think that's two very interesting suggestions indeed. I think that... Um, obviously, Rodeo's the Husk Breakdance. So that's a very old type ride. Um, so, you know, you've got to look at that and think, well, hang on a second. Maybe that could be the case. Maybe that, that's going to be the the situation. Maybe that is going to be going. Um, and, you know, I think that if it was going to go, I wouldn't be surprised because I think they are older rides. So, you know, I think looking at it on that basis, maybe we're looking at that and thinking... Yes, I think that we could see the removal of Rodeo, uh, Rodeo and Penguin Blizzard River. But, um, comment down below what you guys think is going to be removed from the, all three of those parks. So, looking then at the different sites. So, let's start off and go right the way back to Yankee Clipper uh, over at uh, Six Flags Great America. Now, uh, the Yankee Clipper. Now, this is a big, big site. This is taking up a lot and a lot of room. Now, this is a big flume ride. A big, 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 big flume ride. And you've got to imagine, there, were, there was rumours that maybe uh, Vertical Velocity from Six Flags Great America could go in the future. I think that was like a few years ago, though. Um, but Yankee Clipper could provide a great site for a new coaster. I mean, you've got to look at that site and think, well, hang on a second. Axis coaster or what? Uh, and like we said, it's, the old, it's, it's, the old, it's one of the oldest rides in the park. It's probably the oldest ride in the park. So... You know, it's. It, I wouldn't be surprised if that does go, in my opinion. I think that that is probably going to be on the way out. And I think that, like I said, for many of the Coaster fans, this is going to be prime land for um, maybe an Axis Coaster or some kind, other kind of coaster. Maybe they go with a Dive Coaster. Maybe they go B&M. <laughs> um, maybe not. But, um, you know, it's, like I say, it's a prime site. It's a real prime site for a coaster. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if it is the site of a coaster um, replacement. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they do add something 
uh, in that site because I think that, in my opinion, I think that is one of the rides that could be on the way out. Now, the rodeo site at Six Flags America, again, this is a rich history, but again, you've got to look at it and think, well, hang on a second. Again, this is prime area for a brand new flat ride. Um, now, whether it's like a, a Zamperla Hawk type flat ride, like one of those swinging, looping arm flat rides, um, or maybe they go down the Zamperla um, Endeavour route. I mean, to be fair, we've seen these Zamperla Endeavours pop up at a load of different parks across the Six Flags chain. Um, you know, and to be honest, people consider Six Flags America to be one of the parks that doesn't really add much thrill rides in recent years. They're very much a uh, family ride basis or a flat ride basis. And in recent years, in terms of flat rides, I mean, they've added uh, a Zampella Giant Discovery, a Funtime Star Flyer, a Larson Flying Scooters, a Larson Super Loop. So, and in terms of kiddie rides, because you would consider it to be a family thrill ride, you know, they haven't added any kiddie rides since 2010. So I think that if there was one part to get a Zampella Endeavour, it would be Six Flags America. Now, looking at the other site we were talking about, which is the Penguins Blizzard Run. Um, again, this is a prime site for like a flat rides package, or maybe you do bring in a Raptor coaster, if you were going to put in a brand new coaster into that um, sort of Ep Gotham City area, or that Gotham area. Um... Again, I think that's prime land for a brand new roller coaster, and I think looking at it, you've got to see it as uh, as potential uh, area for development, in my opinion. I think that you know maybe the future's bright for Six Flags America. Maybe a new Zampella Endeavor and then an RMC Raptor could be in the future plans for uh, for Six Flags America. And then finally, talking about Magic Mountain, we know Tidal Wave is going for the Raptor, so we've only so with this one, we're only going to focus on Jetstream. Now, Jetstream is in a nice prime area and i reckon you could do a nice interweaving dive coaster in that particular area if you're not going to remove viper for a while then you need to remove jet stream for a dive in my opinion that's another prime site for a dive coaster you're probably thinking how would you intertwine that i would just use the ninja site and i would just work around it i'd work through it over under through any kind of way, long ways, sideways, slant ways, and any other ways you could think of, as Willy Wonka would say uh, in that film in 2005 with Johnny Depp. Um, but I think the jet stream, I think if you remove that, that's a prime candidate for a dive coaster site. I honestly generally mean that. And, um, you know, I mean, you've got to look at Ninja, you've got to look at the type of coaster that is. Look at what Canada's Wonderland did with Yukon Striker. You know, the drop going under and, you know, over and underneath the a part of the section of the the sort of swinging coaster the suspender coaster there um so you know i think that again they could do something similar what they did with canada's wonderland but magic mountain i know they've maybe had a dive coaster in the plans for a few years now so maybe it's time they add a dive coaster and maybe Jetstream does pay the price so there we go that's a detailed look at what sites could go where and what sites could be removed by what that's answering a lot of questions but, like I said, leave your comments down below what you guys think is going to happen to these sites if it is the rides that are going to go. Personally, I think there's a lot of potential with these sites at all these different parks. Again, comment down below any other parts you think are going to produce something. And, um, you know, I'd love to reply to all your comments about this. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you go check out all four of the other videos from today. And for now, my name is Coast Shell, Coop, living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill day.